We know that the chakra system are energy centers in the body, but they are so much more than that. They are actually representative of levels of consciousness of your whole being. So in other words, there are parts of you that know when they are lit up and turned on and activated in life, they know that this life is my gig. I'm not here to fit into somebody else's reality and make sure that I'm accepted by this group or that group or that I belong somewhere. I am what's to belong to. I'm that here and I'm here to have a life experience that is mine as my deepest soulful self with desire and has planned out at the bus stop conversation how to come here in this soulful contract kind of way and unfold into my own magnificence. Now, there are parts of your consciousness that know that and there are parts of you sometimes that have no clue that that's what's going on. That's because the circuitry in that department isn't locked in and integrated in such a fashion that we can consistently operate that way. That's the root chakra level of consciousness. There's another level of consciousness in the second chakra area that has to do with your ability to remember the truth of who you are, this magnificent creator, even when you engage in this world of space and time, even when you engage with someone else in intimate relationship. So if you lose yourself in relationship, whether it's a personal intimate relationship or a relationship at work or relationship with time, if you are victimized or lose yourself or lose your voice in any of those types of circumstances, then your circuitry in the second chakra and the levels of consciousness that are associated there aren't hooked up like they could be. And that's exactly what we want to shift. As well, in the solar plexus area, this is the area where the levels of your consciousness that have to do with your personal power, your knowing that you are here as a divine being anchored in your multidimensionality, grounded in love to bring yourself right out into the world without hesitation. That would happen with grace and ease if the circuits of that level of your consciousness were connected up and integrated with the rest of who you are. Likewise, there's an area re around the heart chakra that are certain different kinds of energies. And there are levels of consciousness that are associated with those types of energies that have you feeling loved no matter what your partner is doing or your kids are doing or your boss is doing or the way it's going in your life, whether luck is unpacking and unfolding freely or whether you seem to be you know, hitting a brick wall. In all those circumstances, you are equally loved regardless of your external environment. So when the circuits of the heart chakra are plugged in to the rest of your circuitry, then you know this regardless of what's going on around you. Likewise, in this throat chakra area, when you are ignited and awake and alive and integrated in these levels of consciousness that are associated energetically with this part of your being, you come in and manifest without hesitation. You do not doubt yourself, you just roll it out. Nor do you step on other people to get your goal met. It's a collaborative, uh, uh, grace-filled action that unfolds in your life. Consequently, when your third eye is open and active and integrated, you are completely aware of and have memory of your uh, your past life experiences, your multidimensionality, the possibility of this idea of parallel universes and all this, this fringe type of talk that's actually becoming more of the mainstream conversation because of what quantum science is delivering to us. We are eternal beings and we are here to wake up to that and live in a practical sense that allows us to make a difference in our communities because we're not busy trying to survive, we're available to actually be in service to one another, to actually care and be kind in circumstances where everyone else is trying to get their own. So I teach embodiment. It's about how do you know that you're doing everything that you can do to bring these levels of your own consciousness online, to wake them up and to make them active parts of your daily life. 
And so there are ways that it feels inside of your body when these aspects of your own consciousness are truly awake and integrating and uh, embodied in such a fashion that they can contribute to the life experience that you're having from day to day. Not only improving your relationships and your engagement and your creativity, but your ability to heal physically, mentally, emotionally, and integrate spiritually. In other words, it's a huge benefit to you to be able to sense and feel and know. So here's what you can start to work with. We know there are four anchor points that you can learn about in the Energy Codes book very easily. An anchor point at the base of the pelvic bowl, at right at the heart level, right at the throat level, and right behind your eyes. When we anchor in those points, we have access to this central channel that breathes up and down through the core of our body constantly and continuously. It's measurable, it's identifiable, it's a very real thing. Science is now able to chart this for us in such a fashion that we know if we bring our mind to this and enhance it with our magnifying quality of the mind, we have the capacity to start to sense and feel a version of our true essential self that we never felt before, which leaves us confident internally, regardless of what's going on in our external environment. So what it feels like when each of these energy centers is enlivened and activated and integrated, and we are therefore what I call embodied, is different a little bit in each of the energy center. So I can give you some examples, just as things to start to look for, feel for, sense into. Number one, the first thing that we have to recognize is that it's important that you don't stay in your head and think about these areas. It's the number one reason that people never really integrate. Even if they have an illuminating experience in meditation, a revelation while they're driving down the road, they have some lucid dream at night that allows them to really experience an alternate kind of reality, but something feels very pure and real and rich and true about it. So the first thing that we have to do is learn to come into this, as if you're walking into an elevator in the center of your head, and then you're going down the elevator shaft to the throat, to the heart, to the solar plexus, down into the belly, down into the deep pelvic area, dropping all the way through into the earth and then rising back up again so that you actually literally go down into these areas of the body. That's primary if we ever want to truly enliven these tissues in the core of our being. And so learn to do this elevator shaft. The elevator shaft alone will, will allow you to begin an embodiment process. When these chakras individually start to come online and they start, these levels of consciousness start to become an active aspect of your uh, experience here on earth, you'll feel it physiologically. And you can, uh, conversely, you can enhance the area of your physiology and it will cause those levels of consciousness to be more readily accessible by you. So the consciousness turns on the body and you can turn on the body and activate the consciousness, both and constantly. So you start feeling warming sensations in the body. You go down this elevator shaft, you find you're able to contract muscles in an individualized kind of way, deep around the core of the spine. By doing spinal rotations when you're laying on the ground or by doing uh, all kinds of of activities that I share with you in the book about how to build the circuitry between one segment of the body to another. What's literally happening is liquid crystals are starting to have impact on their environment and uh, the sensory nervous system ultimately begins to pick up on sensations and a greater sense of self begins to be felt. As we do this, there can be an opening, a dropping down, a settling down, like you're comfortable in your own skin, an opening, a warming, a heating up of some aspect up and down along this entire central channel. There may be parts of you that are um, strong with, with really no explanation. It's because there's more vital force right in this area, having its way with the tissues, enlivening them, bringing them online. 